Hey, what's up there, YouTubers? This is Black Xana here again, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Swordfish Zord from the Power Rangers Super Samurai toy line. And of course, this is also from the Gigazord set. Woohoo! So, here we have the Swordfish Zord right before us. Uh, we There is some nice uh, blue detailing into it. Uh, however, this mold, like the Beetle Zord, the disc is molded in. So, can't really do much about that. Uh, changes on this Zord is that, well, the tail for one, I'm not really sure why Bandai America did that, but they just did. Yeah. So, nice real sins detailing. However, of course, Swordfish Zord was owned by the Blue Samurai Ranger. So, yeah. Uh, he uh, had to pull this Zord out straight from the sea after they found it using his symbol power dramatically. And I don't know if he had help in this or not. But, yeah. Now, this Zord does roll very nice. It does give the tail a nice slip to it. And, of course, if I had the Blue Ranger with me, I could peg him in right over here. Sadly, I don't. This is just the Zord. There is no rider to this set. So, can't do anything about it. Although... Right there, I do like the nice Seba Clan emblem that is on this Zord. Very nice. Uh, maybe a bit out of detail, but it is nice. So, yeah. Now, the uh, Swordfish Zord, and just a uh, before I forget, is actually the Kajiki uh, Origami. So that's what it was uh, back in the uh, Super... No, not Super Samurai. Uh, the uh, Samurai Sentai. The uh, Shikanger. Yeah. I do like it. Now, the transformation for the uh, Swordfish Zord is uh, very simple. All you got to do is just uh, take off the head. Extend the dorso and flip up the fins. So, yeah. And, of course, this is going to become the new helmet. This, however, <laughs> well, I'm not going to be a big fan of it very soon. Now here's the Samurai Megazord, all prepped and ready for us to go. Uh, all we need to do here first is just take out the sword. And of course, uh, this is why I'm not going to like it. Take out the Yellow Ranger's arm. So, yeah. Sorry, but we have to move it. Uh, here we go. I'm going to attach... Yeah this swordfish sword and put in the sword itself and up one yeah that's Bandai America's way of combining it so and of course in order to complete this put on a helmet and there we have is the Swordfish Sensor Megazord. Now, I'm not sure why Bandai America did this. I mean, originally, the body half of this Zord would have attached onto the back of the Megazord. And 
that's only an Ashinkan O. For us, well, not so much. I, I mean, in the show, sure, they may have done it okay, but for us, toy-wise, well, my guess is this is the best they can do due to um, small children. But, uh, I mean, I can see why they mean well and all, but, um, yeah, what can you do? Now, with the new helmet, it does give the uh, Samurai Megazord a new height to play with. And because of the new Zord combination system, well, it's, it's not too bad. I mean, I will have to give him credit, but still, I, not a big fan of it. So, but, as before, beggars cannot be choosers, so, we get what we get. It's still a good toy. Can't complain. Can't and throw anything right at him. However, if you were a Nylock, <laughs> yeah, uh, better watch your ground because you might get chopped into sushi. Mm. Well, I hope you guys like this uh, video. Please leave a comment uh, down below and, uh, of course, Subscribe, I will have more videos along the way. And until next time, this is Black Xana saying, signing off. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. These tunes are great. Talk about the Japanese for being exotic and all. Better have a check on Bumblebee letters just to see how he's doing.